What's going on guys? Today I want to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately on different platforms uh, and that question is how do you prepare for coding boot camp? This is a really great question to be asking yourself if you're thinking about going to a coding boot camp. Generally most coding boot camps have some form of technical interview or technical assessment uh, that is like a barrier to entry basically so you have to pass this technical assessment to be accepted into the coding boot camp. Just like any school, you would want to show up prepared for a test, right? So what can you do to give yourself the best chance? The first thing that I would recommend doing is find out what kind of subject matter the test for the coding boot camp that you want to go to consists of. I can personally only speak for Hack Reactors. That's the only boot camp that uh, I've ever tried to go through and the only one that I've ever taken the assessment for. However, I would assume that most coding boot camps, especially full stack ones uh, like Hack Reactor, primarily focus on JavaScript. The technical assessment interview at Hack Reactor consists of all JavaScript problems. You need to have a solid understanding of the JavaScript fundamentals prior to taking the technical assessment. There are many different ways that you can prepare for the technical assessment of a coding bootcamp. Hack Reactor even offers a free prep course to people planning on attending their coding bootcamp. This free prep course is specifically designed to help people prepare for the technical interview to help them get accepted into Hack Reactor. However, there are also many other resources available that can help you prepare. You can definitely check out the resources at Free Code Camp. Uh, there's courses on Udemy, and you can also look into Team Treehouse. A lot of these resources have excellent JavaScript material that will definitely get you up to par for passing the technical assessment. And I would definitely say that the more you learn beforehand, the better off you'll be. The technical assessment is challenging, and it's meant to be, it's designed that way. This is to make sure that you're up to par and actually ready to join the coding bootcamp and that you'll be successful in the program. It's a timed assessment and they don't expect you to actually finish all of the problems uh, in the problem set. If I recall, they said that generally people make it through about eight or nine problems in the, the problem set on the technical interview prior to running out of time. Personally, I made it through 12 of the problems if I recall, but I was also preparing for a much longer time beforehand as I was self-teaching. Self as far as what you need to actually learn to pass the technical assessment, I'm primarily going to focus on the free prep course here, and that's because it has everything that you need. Everything else can be considered supplemental material. The free prep course will cover a lot of material, everything from defining and using variables and functions to objects, conditional statements, loops, and more. You need to have a very solid understanding of this material in order to succeed. I know it sounds like a lot, and it is, but it's necessary. You need to not only understand this material, but you need to know how to implement it and solve problems in the exam that you'll come across. You'll also need to understand things like data types, arrays, and objects, and not just what they are, but also how to iterate over them. You need to understand how to iterate over arrays and objects. You need to understand there's one way to iterate over arrays and a different way to iterate over objects. And if you don't understand the difference, you're going to get stuck. And if you don't understand how to access properties on an object, you're going to get stuck. If you don't understand that you can't access properties with a variable using dot notation on an object, you're going to get stuck. You need to understand when to use bracket notation versus dot notation. These are things that may seem little, like little details, but they will pay off big time if you understand the difference of them when you go into the technical assessment because the more time that you spend stuck, the less time you're spending problem solving and the less problems you're gonna get through. As far as things that you're not expected to know going into the technical assessment, and I primarily speak for Hack Reactor when I say this, because I don't know if other coding boot camps do this differently, but you are not required to know HTML and CSS for the technical assessment. The technical assessment primarily and only focuses on JavaScript fundamentals. However, I do highly recommend that you spend some time learning the basics of HTML and CSS prior to starting a pre-course or your actual uh, Hack Reactor or Coding Bootcamp class. I say that I still highly recommend this because you will save yourself a lot of time. And this is because in the pre-course for Hack Reactor, for example, they do link some resources that are external from Hack Reactor for you to learn HTML and CSS. But if you're already familiar with these, you can skip these sections and you'll save yourself a lot of time. And when you're able to save the time on not having to learn HTML and CSS in the pre-course, you can spend that time focusing on the more complexities of JavaScript. So in short, if you can master the material of the prep course 
as well as utilize some external resources to fill in some knowledge gaps, then you shouldn't have any problem passing the technical assessment. It won't be easy, it'll still be challenging, but you can definitely do it. Let me know in the comments below which resources you find most useful for learning the JavaScript fundamentals. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe so that you can see any future content that comes out on my channel. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to post comments below.